Mm-hmm. Okay, so now it's about six and a half hours, and I'm s- I put in the new pressure valve, pressure cartridge, regulator, whatever you want to call it, and the new mixer. This is the old one, as you can see, uh, with the O-rings and then the wear and the um, kind of oxidation. And actually, this old one has worked better than the new pressure regulator that I got. As you can see, it's leaking like crazy as if uh, it's on. And I have double checked that all the O-rings and the washes are aligned and actually against all the, the holes. So I, I have no idea what's going on here. And if I put my ear next to here, I, I can actually hear um, the water actually moving. So uh, hopefully it's just a defective valve here and if I get another one um, it'll actually work a lot better for me but if you look at my part 3 or other previous video with the old one in it this one's the old one it doesn't leak like that it at least drips um, so we'll see uh, I'm gonna switch this one back in and uh, you know, change the mixer here. This is the new mixer that I got in here. And uh, I guess we'll see. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to actually get some water. Unfortunately for me, I live in an apartment and uh, I have to close out all the cold water valves uh, to actually do this. And I've done this about five times now, switching back and forth between old and new and seeing which one is the best combination and uh, it's actually becoming a nightmare. So, uh, again, my fixture is very new. It's only been 10 years, uh, if that, more like nine years. So, and it, this started leaking about five years ago. So, and this apartment is brand new. It's a, a 10, nine, 10 year old apartment, so, or a condo. All right. I guess we'll see. Well, hopefully, I'll actually get to sleep. Alright, thank you for watching.